hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be sharing with you how i made this beautiful dress i'm putting on isn't it's so easy to make if you follow all the steps i'll be sharing with you in this video so without wasting so much time let's get started so to make this dress i'm using this satin um duchess satin fabric and as you can see i folded it into two before i started my, taking my measurements so to know the amount of fabric you need to cut out you're going to mark your shoulder measurement divided by two and then after marking your shoulder measurement divided by two you're going to mark your sleeve length how long you want your sleeve to be so you mark that and add one inch for hemming allowance and the length of my fabric i used the full length of this duchess fabric it the full length is up to 60 inches which is just fine for me so guys i'm going to start marking my measurements the first measurement i'm going to take is the round the sleeve round so this depends on how wide you want your sleeve to be i wanted mine to be 12 inches that is times 2 24 then i also marked my waist point my waist point is 16 inches then one more measurement i'll be taking is my shoulder to hip point which is 24 inches so the next thing i'm doing here is to take my neck measurement three inches width and then for the depth i'll be marking three inches and one inch because right now i am drafting i am creating the back piece first so as you continue watching this video you get to understand why i am marking the back i am creating the back piece first so I'll connect the one inch. I want a round neck. So I'll connect the one inch like that and connect the three inches mark. So I'm not going to cut it out yet until I have gotten my front piece. So now at the shoulder point, I'm going to go down by one inch for the shoulder slope. Then I'll connect it to the neckline. So I will just connect like that to get the slope at the shoulder. Then the next thing I need to do is to take my round measurements. I'm going to divide my round bust divided by four. And since this dress is going to be a dress, a free dress, I would add five inches to my original measurement. So I'm adding five inches. Don't forget, I'm going to sew this dress. I'm going to close it. So my sewing allowance, allowance is included in that five inch. I'm also marking that same measurement there on my waist point. Then on the hip point, I'll divide my round hip and add five inches so once i'm done doing that i'll connect all the points connect all the marks from that point till the bottom part of this dress so at the armhole area as you can see i'm trying to make a curve so that it's not giving a sharp edge then i go ahead and cut this out I won't be able to cut this completely on camera. So I'll go off the camera and cut out this and mark the front piece as well. So after cutting the front piece, you can see this is what I have. The front piece is the one under with an extension of 1.5 inches. So for the back piece, I cut out the one inch on the neckline. 
because I'm using only one inch on the neckline. While well, you can see that the three inches is for the front pattern of the dress, the front piece of the dress. So you can see on my tip, I've taken out one inch. So I'll trace the three inches on the front piece and the three inches width so that I can create the neckline for the front piece of this dress. I'm going to explain to you soon why I have on have 1.5 inches extension on this front piece. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut this out so that I can create the front neckline. So I'm just trying to show you that my extension is 1.5 inches all the way down on the front piece. So the neckline is 3 inches as you can see. So I'll cut that out and that will be the neckline for the front. So once I'm done doing that, you can see that the back is higher than the front. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to mark my neck line before doing that i'm going to give that 1.5 inch a tiny snip so that i would easily recognize where it starts from so now take my new neckline you know that slits in front of our dress that that slit at the top part so you decide where you want it to stop in my own case i used seven inches from my shoulder line which which means i added four inches to the three inch neckline you can decide that you want yours longer depends on your preference so after marking that the next line i'm going to mark on this front pattern this front piece is the slit point where i want my slits to start from so I marked where I wanted my slit to start from and then I I split this front piece into two. After splitting it open, I went to the sewing machine and I made a stitch from the neckline, that point I marked to where the slit is going to start from. So as you can see that side is closed now. And this is what it looks like. On the front part I'll go ahead and iron this properly so that it is neat it looks neat so while ironing this fabric it's advisable that you are careful because this fabric can get burnt easily so after doing that I'm going to get facing for the front part of the dress and the back part of this dress so I'll place my front piece on a fabric and I'll cut a facing that is about 2.5 inches to 3 inches wide I'll make that point there and then I'm going to Trace out the neckline. So if you watch what I'm doing, you understand perfectly. I also place the back pattern, the back piece of this dress, and cut a facing to turn the neckline since I'm not using a lining. So this is what it looks like on uh, the back facing. This is what the back facing looks like. So I'll go ahead and join them and this is what it looks like. I'll turn it to the wrong side and then the next step is to finish the inside of this dress with a hemming gum. So when you're ironing, like I said earlier, you need to be very careful. 
so i'll press this down with a hot iron and then i'll close that up you can see that the gum has been put in place so this is the front part of this dress and you can see it's looking so neat there is no stitch on this dress and the front part has no stitch so it looks really neat so this is how you should be looking like after you've applied your hemming gum you've attached your hemming gum so moving on the next thing i need to do is to get my belt the inner belt for this dress so this belt is what gives the snatched effect so i'm cutting out a band eight inches long and the width is 22 inches so just cut out bands that can go around your waist just depends on what you want then to attach this belt i'm going to mark my waist point that's my shoulder to waist point i'll mark that on the wrong side of this fabric i'll mark that on the other side too so this belt is attached only on the front part of this dress so i mark that point and then from the center that stitch you can see in the center i'll mark my round waist measurement divided by four i'll mark that on the left hand side and i'll mark that also on the right hand side After that, I'll place my belt there and stitch on it. So once I'm done doing that, this is what it looks like. You should have a stitch on the right side that looks like this. So after attaching my belt, I'll join the shoulders together. And then I'm going to hem my sleeves before I close up the gown. And that is all for this dress guys it's really really easy to make and if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done that yet thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye